guys welcome to my lecture on communication system so in this lecture we are going to deal with signal and how to represent our signal in the form of orthogonal basis function this lecture is related to my previous lecture also so please go and watch my previous lecture if you haven't watched my previous lecture go and watch them okay so let's get started toward it okay suppose if we have a set of finite energy signal that is s of m t where m is equal to 1 to m and that is S1t, S2t up to S of nt. Our task is to find out the orthogonal basis function. Okay, so what is our orthogonal basis function for this? Would be 5-1t, 5-2t up to 5k of t. So, what is 5-1t? 5-1-t is nothing but S1 of t divided by the energy of the signal S1. So what is energy of signal? Energy of signal is it is E of S is nothing but minus infinity to infinity mod of S t whole square into dt. For this one E1 is equal to minus infinity to infinity s1 t mod whole square into t of t okay so what is phi 1 t is simply s1 t normalized to unit energy okay phi 1 t is simply s1 t normalized to unit energy Now we need to find out phi 2 of t. So there are some steps in this. First we need to subtract the projection of s2 t on phi 1 t. And then we need to calculate the energy of this one. So what I mean to say is that we need to do this that is we need to find gamma 2 of t that is s2 of t minus c21 into phi 1t so what is this c21 it is projection of s2t on phi 1 of t okay so what is c21 here is c21 is nothing but s2 of t dot product with phi 1 of t that is equal to minus of infinity to infinity s2 of t into phi 1 t into t of t okay now what is e2 of t e2 of t is nothing but the energy of the signal gamma 2 of t okay square so what is my phi 2 is nothing but phi 2 of t is nothing but gamma 2 of t upon energy of the signal root of the energy of the signal similarly we need to go on and then find phi k of t that is gamma 2 of t upon sorry gamma k here it is k upon k of root of k so likewise we will move on and find out the general concept of this one okay so if i need to find out what is uh, phi 3 of t so how we can find it out so first we need to find out the gamma 3 of t then we need to find the energy of this let us e3 of t is nothing but whole square into dt then phi 3 of t is nothing but gamma 3 of t upon e3 now what is gamma 3 gamma 3 is nothing but s3 of t minus projection of this one that is c31 into phi 1t and subtraction of c32 into 
phi 2 t. What is C31 is? That is C31 is nothing but S3 of t into phi 1 t. That is Similarly, what is C32 is nothing but S3 T and phi 2 T. That is uh, S3 T and this one. Okay. Similarly, we can generalize this. So, it will become something like this. That is phi k of T is nothing but S k of T minus I equal to 1. Wait a minute. So it is nothing but SK of T minus summation of I equal to 1 to K and CKI into phi I of T. Okay. And E of K. And what is C K I is nothing but S K T into that is dot product I am saying phi I T. Okay. And E of K is If you find any of the doubt in this lecture, you can comment on my YouTube video also. Okay, so I can clarify it. Okay, so this is the general concept of this one to find out the orthogonal basis of the functions of the signal I mean to say. Okay, so we will solve a problem on this, and I will tell you how we can solve the problem because this is the equation, and I want you to understand through example. Okay. So this is my problem and here I have, here I have four, four signal S1 T, S2 T, S3 T and S4 T. So we can have four orthogonal bases or we can have less than that. So maximum orthogonal basis can be four or it can be less than that also. So max orthogonal basis can be four or less than that. Okay. And uh, maximum can be equal to 4. Okay. So, so let's get started toward it. So, first we need to find uh, phi 1 of t. Okay. So, what is phi 1 of t? Here you can see is that we need to find the energy of the signal and divide the signal. Okay. So, what is the energy of the signal is, here is S1 T divided by root of E1. So, first we will find out E1. E1 is nothing but minus infinity to infinity S1 T whole square into E of T. So, what is S1 of T is nothing but, it is 1 from 0 to 2. Okay. So, it is nothing but minus infinity to infinity. 1 mod 1 square into dt. So it is 0 to 2 dt. That is nothing but 2. So what is phi 1 of t? It is s1 of t under root of 2. So the signal will look something like this. It is So this is my phi 1 of t. Now we need to find out the phi 2 of t. So how we can find out the phi 2 of t? First we need to find out the gamma 2 of t and t2. Okay. So 
what is gamma 2 of t is nothing but s2 of t minus c21 into phi1 t divided by t2 okay so what is c21 here so we can see that c21 is nothing but phi 1 t into s 2 t ok so c 2 1 is equal to minus infinity to infinity phi 1 t into s 2 of t into t of t so we can see that s 2 looks something like this this is my s 2 it is 1 and here it is minus 1. See if we can multiply both this signal so it will come here as positive 1 and same here it will come as negative. So we do the integration of this so our C21 will come equal to 0. I can show you also that it is in this case when you multiply both the signal so till here it is 1 so till here it is 1 and here it is minus 1 by root. So when you it's from 0 to 1 it is nothing but 1 by root 2 to d of t plus from 1 to 2 it is nothing but minus 1 by root 2 into d of t. So when you add it so it will become 1 by root 2 minus 1 by that is nothing but 0. So, if this part goes to 0, then gamma 2 is nothing but s 2 t upon the root of p t. Okay. So, let us move on the next page. So, as we have seen in the previous page that the gamma t is nothing but equal to s 2 of t. So, our s 2 of t is look something like this. So, what we need to find is now uh, find out the energy of this signal so it is nothing but mod of s 2 t whole square into dt so when we solve from 0 to 1 it is 1 and from 0 from 1 to 2 it is minus 1 but we have to do the mod and the square so it is 1 into dt that is nothing but equal to 1 plus 1 and equal to 2 so phi 2 of t is s 2 of t upon energy of the signal so phi 2 of t so look something like this okay now we are going to find out phi 3 of t okay now we need to find out the third orthogonal basis function that is phi 3 of t okay that is phi 3 of t okay so first we need to find out the gamma 3 of t that is s3 of t minus projection vector of first signal on the third one and the second signal on the third one okay so what is c3 of 1 that is s3 of t phi 1 t into d of t okay so you can see this signal and this signal okay so our phi 1 t is nothing but equal to 1 by root 2 as we have seen in the previous page also so it is 1 by root 2 in the interval 0 to 2 so when we multiply this it is 1 by root 2 into 2 that is nothing but equal to root 2 okay now we need to find c2 of 3 okay so our c2 of 3 is nothing but s3 of t into phi 2 star t into d of t so it is our phi 2 of t is nothing but it looks something like this uh, so i can i can make it as a projection vector here so what i will do is i will write down as phi of t it is nothing but like this and our this is my projection vector phi 2 of t it is nothing but this one so when i multiply this and this so it is a zero from this part so we will integrate from zero to two only so it is here it is positive one and here it is negative minus one by root two so when we integrate this it will come out to zero as you can see here it is from zero to one it is one by root two and from one to two it is minus one by root two so c2 of 3 is nothing but zero so our gamma 3 of t is this so it will reduce to this function when you solve it so it will come minus 1 from the interval 2 to 3 and 0 otherwise because s3 of t minus root 2 phi 1 of t 
so s3 of t minus root 2 of 5 1 t so here you can see is that when i multiply with root 2 so it will become 1 and from interval 0 to 2 so when we subtract it so it will become here 0 and at this part it is minus 1 here it is minus 1 so it is minus 1 only okay like it is minus 1 from 2 to 3 and 0 otherwise so our phi 3 of t is nothing but gamma 3 of 3 upon energy of the signal so energy of the signal is minus 1 over whole square dt that, that is nothing but equal to 1 okay so as we move on to the next phase, so our phi 3 of t will look something like this from interval 2 to 3 it is minus 1 okay so we need to find out the fourth orthogonal basis function that is phi 4 of t so this is my phi 1 of t this is my phi 2 of t and this is my phi 3 of t okay this is my signal s4 of t so first we need to find out the gamma 4 that is s4 of t minus c41 phi 1 t c42 phi 2 t and c43 phi 3 of t okay so c41 c41 is nothing but the signal multiply with this signal okay so when we do it so it is here it is 1 by root 2 and here it is minus 1 okay so it will become minus 1 by root 2 from interval 0 to 2 okay as you can see that from the interval 0 to 2 so it is 2 into minus 1 by root 2 it is nothing but minus root 2 similarly c42 is s4 of t phi 2 star t into dt from minus infinity to infinity so s4 and phi 2 so it will last from interval 0 to 2 so it will become minus 1 by root 2 because here it is 1 by root 2 and here it is negative and from interval 1 to 2 it has become positive 1 by root 2 when you will add both of these so it will become 0 similarly c4 of 3 is s4 of t and phi 3 star t into dt so it will last from interval 2 to 3 only because at this part it is 0 so it is here it is minus 1 and here it is minus 1 so it has become positive 1 so gamma 4 of t is nothing but as 4 of t root 2 phi 1 t minus phi 3 of t so i just want you to see it and it will come out to be 0 so in this there are four signal in this case that is s1 2 s2 t s3 3 t s4 of t so what we have found out is that here in this four signal there are only three orthogonal basis function okay it can be two also but in this case it is three or it can be four also okay so i will give you some assignment also please like and subscribe to my channel and please spread this channel also to your friend circle also thanks and goodbye and keep watching my lectures okay